Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough, where we might actually achieve victory today. Well, we'll see. We're, we're still... We're still not exactly sure what challenges we're going to face, and I'm excited for that, but uh, we have got um, the rare gun turrets up here now with some some spares. We've got 11 spares. And then, why do I have 11? I should have an even number. Uh, I'll deal with that in a second. And then I also just decided to send up some rare grabbers, because I think I want these two at the front to be rare. Because then they'll have more arms, faster collection, speed yeah literally everything gets better I, I guess it's not that different that's a pretty small boost but but the arms move faster there's more of them and they have a bigger area that they can collect in and the building even has more slots to store asteroids um so that's nice oh yes more power consumption but that's not that's not a big deal for what we're dealing with these railguns are going to take a lot more power <laughs> than the asteroid collectors. Um, but yeah, and then I believe we've got everything filtered, smalls and mediums. These are all the bigs, and these are the huges. So we've got the three levels of weaponry going. Uh, this is busted because I'm not trashing extra. Oh, this is backwards. Aha, solved. Okay, um, because that's the trash crap, uh, belt. And it's also possible I should stack these. Uh, maybe we should to further densify things. Part of me feels like maybe we should... something like that and that way things will get denser but then we need to change this to be 16 and 16 because now they're stacked to four um, and then what else uh, got the thrusters here nuclear right now is nice and hot so we just don't have water water's the problem um, wait, why do we... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I forgot that we elongated the ship, and so now the water just wasn't straight up connected. There we go. I knew something was, was weird in here. Okay, now we've got power. There we go. Why are they turning off? Output full. Oh, I just don't need the power. Okay, power consumption is very low right now, I guess. Oh, oh, the panels are providing enough power that sometimes we don't need. That's why I was confused. I was like, there should be some constant draw, um, but the panels are providing the constant draw. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, I do want to do, if I can, one more of these, because this just gives me more of everything. What I don't know, because this is a catalyst, I don't know if it gives you extra chunks. Like, when a productivity bar fills, do the productivity bars have a chance to give back extra chunks too? Because if so, then that's really nice. Because not only does it improve the output, but it improves the output of its own self back into itself. So that's kind of a double win. Though this is only 5% back, but... And it doesn't improve the reprocessing recipes. So like when you're changing one chunk into another chunk type, it doesn't improve those. But it does mean we'll need fewer of each type of chunk to make the amount of thing we need. So like we'll end up with more extra metallic asteroids because we don't need as many to make the iron and copper, right? And because of that, that means we'll have more metallic asteroids that we can change into 
um, oxide asteroids. That's the word I'm looking for. So it ends up kind of giving you a double bonus for the things that you're short on. Because not only do you get more of the thing you're short on, but you get more of the other asteroids that you can turn into the thing you're short on. So definitely a big help there. Um, so what are we what are we waiting for right now? I think we're kind of just waiting for things to spin up. Do we have any fuel yet? Uh, no, it looks like the fuel lines are empty. Uh, that's because we haven't connected these belts. That's a really good reason. Uh, the water's also not gotten to be enough. We want 2,000 and it's only at 108. So that's not very good. Because um, it all went to filling. So I probably would benefit from... Like, it'll just go a lot faster if I do this. And I say fill water barrel, and I do that, and I do this, I don't even need the power, and I do this. I should have some barrels already ready to go because of uh, the emptying the floral ketones. So we will just grab some water barrels real quick. And when it gets to 100, boom. And then we can jumpstart our water. <laughs> what am I watching? I mean, honestly, it makes a lot of sense just because there's not many, at least if you're building something above Navis, there's not a lot of uh, oxide bits around. So it takes a really long time for water to spin up on the platform. As soon as you start traveling anywhere, you have so much more. Um, Alright. So it makes sense to start things out this way. Alright. That should help quite a bit. Yeah, now we have these. Okay, so now we just gotta get the ores going. Oh, oh, we got a couple things going on. Um, <clears throat> thing number two that's going on is we need to be putting back the nuclear fuel cells, which we might reprocess. I'll deal with that later. Um, and then this one, what have I done here? These are so weirdly janked up at this point. So we need, oh, we already have it set up, okay. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just leaving this chaos the way it is because it, it works. Um, and I had to spaghetti it that way originally, at this point, I probably don't. But this is the carbon one, so right here. So here's the age-old question. I feel like people have been asking this ever since Factorio's been around. Do you set up your corners like this, or do you set up your corners like this? There are arguments for both. I think I actually prefer this, so I'm going to leave it that way. But, because I just like the undergrounds lining up. Um, yeah, that should get me the fuel that we need. There we go, thruster fuel. So now these bad boys are going. So now we're just going to go towards uh, Leba here. And that way we get some extra asteroids. Uh, actually, wait, we don't have any ammo for the turrets yet, so that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Pause the thrust. Pause the thrust. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. <laughs> we might have, a, we might have a, an impact here. Ah! Yeah, I kind of forgot about ammo. Speaking of ammo, what's going on with all that? I think I screwed something up, because we're not seeming to get ammo.
It's... Wait. Oh, I have a disconnected belt somewhere. We got lots of ammo, it's just not getting... Oh. So I blame the blueprinting. When you're blueprinting and you're mixing blueprints and non-blueprints, the undergrounds don't work right. There's some improvements that need to be made there, and I think that's why some of these were backwards. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Okay, we actually have plenty of ammo. I was gonna say, I'm like, we've had this thing going for a while. We should have ammo by now. Alright, so we can go back to moving towards the glaives. Alright, and we're gonna upgrade this guy to a rare. Upgrade you to a rare. Upgrade you to a rare. And upgrade you to a rare. There we go. That's a little better on the collection. Still not... No coverage for over here, which I think is fine. Perfect. Yeah, the three arms makes a big difference. Um, hmm. I have a smarter idea. has a smarter idea if I can find these buttons. Oh no, this actually doesn't work. Hold on. I'll uh I'll figure it out. Cause this is definitely slightly better, but the problem is gonna be the oxide chunks are not dealt with. Or the metallic chunks that we get back. Which means I need... Um... We don't need a sorter here, but this this one's going to be problematic, isn't it? Ugh. I could move this over by one tile. And then I can output like this. And these will filter to metallic. Asteroid chunk. You have to deconstruct and reconstruct. Bleed the items here. And then I think I can just do it this way. Now, there's something I still haven't fixed, by the way. Which is, asteroid chunks can end up on the wrong side of the belt. Have I, have I completely fixed that? Maybe I have. Because the only things putting asteroid chunks onto the main loop are asteroid collectors, which should be all on the correct side, and the reprocessing set, which is here, which we fixed. So maybe we're okay. Yeah, never mind, we're okay. Um, but the loop I broke, so that needs to change, and this needs to change. There we go. And now this isn't measuring anything because it was connected to that belt. It is just a read, hold, all belts situation. So... There we go. So now reprocessing is set up here. And these ones should be good. No, the belt's broken on this one as well. This something's backwards. There we go. Have I seen the monstrosity bold Viking belt? No, I have not. I'm sure it is indeed monstrous. I'll have to check it out. Um, can I please make sure the belt from rockets goes straight into the side of the underground? It would look so much better. Um, You meaning this one? In this case, the sides of things that... It, it does work out nicely. Normally things like this wouldn't work, because one of the two would be on the wrong side. But that does work out pretty well. Alright. 
Just for you, Waskly. So... Well, I think we're good at this point. Now it's just a matter of steel's not working because I didn't hook up the molten iron. Um, which is kind of surprisingly difficult given what I've done here. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is this, which I know is absolutely absurd, but it works. And there's steel. everything a little faster. What's the power on these? 20 megawatts? That might be a little high. I actually might want... Um, I don't think the speed is going to need to be that high, so let's grab our efficiencies here and reduce the power down. Yeah, 8, eight megawatts a piece. That still actually might be a bit high. So let's grab another one here and here. Which I know will slightly reduce the speed effectivity, but now we're down to like 2 megawatts. That one's 8 megawatts. Yeah, that's a little better. It's like four times my Nalvis base in size and does everything legendary. Oh my gosh. It just rerolls asteroids to legendary and produces everything legendary. That does sound pretty cool. All right, we got railgun ammo. Our first railgun ammo produced in the game right here. How much power are these taking, by the way? Three megawatts? That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, I do think, because it's easy, I'm going to add some more. And... Again, just to, just to help a little bit with overall power do this. Actually, that's nice. It affects that one. That's why that one was taking more power. I couldn't figure it out. This was affecting it from the corner. Now yeah, it all makes sense. Okay, uh, Glebo starting to feel a little less hectic on the Glebes. Um, Upgrade these to uncommons. Grab a few more here. Oh my gosh, Gleba is really struggling with these, uh... Wait, missing construction robots. I might need more bots on Gleba. I only have 45 construction bots? Yeah, that's a problem. Um... Let's see... So that means I'm going to need robot frames and construction bots. We don't need lube, do we? We need electric engines. Am I making electric? I am making electric engines. Okay, good. All right, we're good. We're good. Um, but yeah, these these are just such bad quality modules. takes five ever to get an uncommon. We are getting a couple rares. I guess I could use one or two of those instead. But. Alright, anyway, back to the Ascension, who's now chilling over Gleba. I just want it to go back and forth for now. So it can keep collecting resources. Uh, I think I would like... Yeah. There's no reason not to stack explosives. No reason to not stack that. Pretty much anything that can stack, I should stack. The ice. Yeah, the ice is the problem right now. Oh, and I can change these numbers now, can't I? Rather than 250 of everything, 
being ditched. Let's change that to 500. And then Yeah, and then I'm going to change this to be 50 is the low amount. We're going to change 100 to be the low amount, and 300 to be the we have enough amount. And we'll fix that in both spots. And then we'll do the other asteroid ditcher. Uh, I certainly will filter the collectors if we end up with just too much crap, but we might be okay. We'll see. It does look scary because these get really close. But they die so fast. Like as soon as they get into those radii. But I am slightly concerned about this. We might we might need some more gun turret action. We'll see. Uh oh, this is an issue. Maybe this is the the thing. Someone was making a comment on in the last episode about gun turrets. I think it was these two. Um and these will make a difference for everything in the middle. Oh, and this just doesn't have an inserter. Yeah, and I mean, right now we're going really fast. Like, 265 is pretty, pretty booking. Um, so we can pretty easily slow it down when we're actually going towards danger. Stranger danger. I could put one right here, but how would it get in? At least in the current setup, there's no... There's no space where I can get ammo. Um, I'm trying to think about a spot where I could utilize an underground to fit an extra turret near the front. And I think it's actually right here. Um, or maybe right here. Yeah. No. Not there. here. So then we do this, we move that to there, and then we can do this. Um. And that will help a ton. One more kind of in the front that has full coverage. Um. And then, let's see... Anywhere else where there's a nice, easy spot. I mean, I really do feel like we should put one here. We just need to get ammo to it. I could do a filter inserter. Um, into, well, no, there are no chests. So just onto a belt segment. <laughs> um... Just adjust the belt. Uh, it would require a pretty big adjustment to the belt. I guess what I could do... I could squiggle the belt over here. Like this. And then do that. Um, and then we get some ammo there. I'll just do it manually. Uh, that goes there, this underground here, and this one. Alright, so there's two more turrets that have coverage of the full front. <laughs> yeah, exactly. F it, we'll do it live. 
Um, trying to think if there's anything else we really need to do. We definitely have too many chunks. What's up with that? Hmm. Yeah, I may I may need to to filter these bad boys. Because the the real issue isn't the system. Well, I mean the issue is the system. I was gonna say the issue isn't the system we have set up, but it's like well that's literally not true. Um, the issue isn't the logic that we have set up, it's just that the throughput is only 30 a second, and we need more than that. Like, if we could stack asteroid chunks, we might be okay. Um, it's just that we're collecting too many here. So, we will have to filter these to ones we don't have enough of. Everyone tries to get around filtering the grabbers, but it always seems way more effort than just doing it. Yeah, I think that's that's the space that we've reached. So we want to get up to 250, basically, because that's where these are. Oh, actually, well, wait, no. Wait. 250. These are set to 300. Didn't I mean to set these to 500? Oh, there's another set that I didn't change. There we go. I forgot we had two sets on the left side of Gitter Ritter Rubbers. Um, anyway, that just means... Well, there's nothing wrong with filtering grabbers. It's just annoying to connect all the wires. That's all. Um, and wait, we have a break somewhere. Hold on, that's part of the issue. That may actually fix some things. Where's the break? Oh, it's the, it's the railgun ammo. Uh... It's so a railgun getting merged in. You know what I might do instead? Because this is low priority merging anyway. What we can do is just sideload the railgun ammo. Um, and that's the same as a low priority merge. And that way we don't break the logic. Uh, so that's better that way, I think. And we're not making enough steel. So that's actually a speed issue that I didn't think we have. Add a couple more beacons in here. Oh, and explosives. Mm. Oh, I should be using cryogenic plants. Now, to be fair, I don't know if I need four railgun ammo per second, so some of it's a rate issue. I don't know if I need that level of production. We'll see. Uh, anyway, what was I getting at? Oh, the filtering, yeah. The only reason I, I don't like this very much is just because we have to connect every single grabber to a wire that's reading the belt, and that's just bothersome, but it's not that hard. Read, hold. Wait, no, 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 no. All right, we're gonna need one big. I'm seeing a couple ways to do this. Um, we do need combinators up here. We never requested any. I guess we ended up with deciders though. So that's probably all we need. Um, yeah, I'll probably just do a single wire network and use substations to connect them rather than a combinator with a wire connected to the belt for every single grabber. I think I'd rather do one wire and control all the grabbers simultaneously. Um, I think you can. I know I know people can place power poles. Because some people were like, how do you see the power network in space? And it's like, oh, you can just place a power pole. So, 
Because these can all be wired together even without too much hassle. I can't reach to that one. Um, and we're going to set filters. And then we're going to have a decider combinator. Now, there's a couple ways we could do that. There's probably, I mean, one fancy way you can do it is you could say each less than 500 output, you know, one of that. But then the problem is if you have zero of it, it, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to go with the simplest idea of, like, measuring each one. Because um, I think it's pretty foolproof and I don't have to think too hard. So that's less than 500. We output metallic asteroid chunk as a signal. Uh, we're reading the belt here. And we basically do the same thing, but for carbonic, oxide, and just click over. I guess we should do promethium, though I don't really understand what that's all about yet. I know that's the final science pack. Um, pack that up to there, and then we should have substations now. Question is, I'm, <laughs> I may need medium poles, not substations. That's actually really funny. I didn't think about that. Um, you can use belts instead. I don't know why. I really don't like the look of that, though. Like, connecting up to multiple belts on the same belt. What is currently on the belt, in terms of amounts? Uh, well, I still have the getter rid of that get rid of stuff past 500, so... It's probably about 500 of everything right now. Which might be too much. Because the belt's looking pretty full, asteroid chunk-wise. I could use combinators that do nothing. Oh, that's what Alor was saying. I, I understand now. Yes, I could. Yeah, 500 might be a bit high. Let's go to let's go to 350 maybe. We should have the power poles now. Feels so weird to build a power pole here. But there we go, connect that up. Probably should build it one tile back from the edge, shouldn't I? In case of asteroid collision. Ah, I can't reach. Okay. Um, then we'll do a substation. Ah! Of course, there's not space for a substation. Um... Stomper did that much damage by itself. Fun. Even though I have literally five missile turrets here. Love it. Oh, goodness. 
You know, I said I was doing the thing. I don't remember if this was before or after the end of the the last recorded episode, but I am I am making these lightning. Oh my god, I'm making a lot of Tesla turrets. Apparently, I didn't realize I forgot to limit that. That's part of the issue I'm having apparently with superconductors. Um, so we've got plenty of Tesla turrets, and <laughs> I think I think I did it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Tesla turrets here on on the glaives, um, so we just need to we just need to actually implement them. Gosh, they're huge. Uh, so we just need to implement these bad boys and wait for the fireworks. I don't know how many we need, but we'll start with a, a smattering. And we'll go from there. What's their range? Am I? What am I doing here? The range is 30, which is slightly more than more than a laser, less than a missile. All right. So, Waskily, that's a perfect example of a reason that the game, um, if the game had the ability to request like in rockets and just in requests in general, if I could just say, hey, send 20 uh, Tesla towers to this ship of the the, whatever, the best quality you can grab, then if that was possible, I would have used quality modules for my Tesla towers because having a couple uncommons and a rare or two would be nice, but it's not nice when you literally have to make an entirely separate request for each of them, which Either you make such a really tiny amount for the request and a tiny amount for the minimum request, or you have to make it, you know, and then it's going to be an unsatisfied request most of the time. Like it just, it's not easy to just have mixed quality. Um, if it was, I would just do mixed quality more often. But mixed quality adds a lot of complication to your like ship requests and stuff. So. It just makes it harder rather than easier. Okay, let's uh, let's try this out. And I do think that's a little bit of knock, a little bit of a knock on the quality mechanic is that you kind of have to be all in or not. It's it's very hard to just kind of mess with a little bit of like, oh, I'll just have an extra uncommon or rare here or there. That doesn't really work. At least not interplanetary wise, just because of the fact that you can't do um, just little bits of quality. It is true that Tesla towers get much better with better quality because of the extra fork chance. It's a pretty huge difference. But. <sighs> okay, back to the ascension. Um, what was I doing? And this one's not being fed. I'm feeding it with the wrong ammo belt. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, is that the same across from it? Yep, I did the wrong one. Um... Okay, anyway, continuing to connect up the grabbers is what we were doing. So... That one's good. That's the final one. Um, so then we need to connect... This one... That one... That one... To this one. And that's the final. Okay, so that should be all the grabbers now? No. Oh, uh, we didn't do set filters on all of them. And yes, I see the railguns that are still hungry because I did all of the side railguns wrong. All right, that should do it for that. Um,
didn't screw up, I did. Gotta be really careful with rebuilding those belts. I just got stuff on the wrong sides for a second there. Okay. We might be fine now. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I'm like, something's wrong here. Um, something is wrong. The speed was supposed to be limited to 50, but we weren't actually reading it. Uh, read speed, there we go. Okay. So that was the unlimited speed. You think with the current setting, the grabbers will be unfiltered and just grab anything if all requests are satisfied? If if there are zero filter. If all requests are satisfied. Are you telling me it doesn't work like an inserter? Because with an inserter, if you wire up an inserter, uh, something, and you say set filters, it won't grab anything if it has no signals. But are you saying these, if you send them no signals, they grab everything? Because that would be really annoying if that's how it works, because then it's not working the way inserters work. And that feels needlessly inconsistent. Um, Potato, how's it going? When are the next GT and H videos? Uh, I have no idea. I, I have no plans for um, GT and H in the near future, but I definitely am going to return to it someday. I had a lot of fun with it. But I, I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. I've got got a lot of Factorio to play. I've got Path of Exile 2 to play. I've got, uh, oh, someone redeemed a stretch. And I haven't stretched. Uh, we've got XCOM 2 Long War to play. So, you know. And I got pretty burnt out on Greg Tech. Minecraft is not an easy game for me to get sucked into like, uh, like some others. Though I say that, I did play 200 hours of GTNH, which is far more than I play most games. So, I could see, I could see going a lot longer last time. Interesting. Uh, so there's two people that don't agree in the comments on how these will filter. And there's not really... I say there's not an easy way to test this. That's the most untrue thing I've said all day. Um, if I just say... I do wish I had a constant combinator. Let me request the other combinators because I might need the other kinds. Um, Arithmetic. I'm probably not going to need selectors. But just in case, I'll ask for 10 of them. Um, why is it... Also, how did I get so much... Is that just from deconstruction, probably? Railgun ammo in this thing. Uh, why is it not bringing these 10? Oh, again, I think it's just these are going to other ships right now or something. Yeah. I really, I'm hoping 2.1. Uh, in my mind, this is almost a necessary feature. Um, that they add a, a third color for, like, rockets are busy doing other things. Like, the request is available to be queued up. There is enough on the planet. We're just waiting for rockets at this point. We really need a third color for that. You know, Aylor, I, I already, I said maybe I would just do one, but at the same time, given that you have done the most name in game redemptions, it would feel oh so wrong to not have you on the final ship. So that's, that's the last one I'm taking for the ship. Because <laughs> I can't fit too many on here. 
Anyway, uh, what was I doing with the constant combinator? I wanted to test just setting the filter. Like that, and seeing if it grabs stuff. It looks like it's not gonna grab something. But it doesn't, it does say disabled by control behavior. So yeah, I think we're okay. I think it works the same as inserters. It would be nice if it had the same, um, again, this is just like a 2.1 thing, nice little quality. If it would set the little red circle, like the cancel button, if it had the same symbol over it, like inserters do. Okay, yeah, that, that was working the way we hope. So you're, it just might have been broken before, maybe. Okay, well, I don't know what what's gonna happen, but we're gonna we're gonna try this thing. I think. Uh, no, something's wrong here. Read fuel. Read temperature. These are both set. To, to run when that's greater. This is set. Temperature's less than 700 and that. Output a green. What have I done wrong? Oh, I need one more thing. There is one more thing I'm pretty confident I will need, which is a bank of accumulators for railgun stuff, railgun shenanigans. Uh, accumulator, what are the odds I have a, a chunk of uncommon on the planet? I could, ah, let's just fly over to uh, Fulgora. I know I have uncommons there. I might even have a, a bunch of rares. Uh, accumulator. Oh yeah, we got we got 141 rares. Okay, perfect. So, ascension. <sighs> accumulator rare. Not from Malvis, and we want 100. BP the ship before you try. Yeah, don't. I'll I'll do a save. I I may I may load a save if it goes too terribly wrong. But yeah, I'll definitely do that. It's 270 is pretty pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, I know you can get them up to like five or six hundred if you're really min-maxing, but I still don't like how close these get. I realize that it's fine because we have lots of turrets right at the last second, but it just looks scary. So there is a gap here, but it, it would be really weird for an asteroid to come in at that angle, especially while we're moving. So I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm also low on speed modules, I just realized. Which could become a problem. Uh, I'm gonna drop down the barrels. No need for those. All right, let's go to the solar system edge. And see what goes wrong. I don't love this. <laughs> Still being slower. Um, what I might do? Oh, these aren't these aren't quality chem plants. Ah, we can still make that better. We'll improve that real quick. Um, we've got our. Accumulators here. Why am I doing it this way? I don't know. Don't ask. Alright. Perfect. 100. There's a nice block of charge. 
and yeah, 1.5 gigajoules should last me a minute or two. Uh, okay, so we're going back to Novice, and I'd like to request... Um, what were we just talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I want is some beacon legendaries. And should be fine. I'd like some speed three legendaries. 20 should be fine. And then everything else is probably okay. Oh, the, the Kim plants. Kim plant. I wonder how many rares we have. Oh, we had 10, I guess. The quality, the quality scroll. Oh, that was weird. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know. Does that count as a bug? The quality scrolling doesn't work when you're here. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I will legendary beacon this. I also feel like I could probably fit a second one in here if I really tried. Uh, but a legendary beacon alone makes a pretty big difference. And then when you combine that with legendary speed modules, that makes an even bigger difference. I'm curious what the difference actually is, but I can't go back in time. Um, I guess what I can do is I can just look at explosives production rate. So we went from... 430 to 640, which is like a 20, 30% boost. 400 plus. No, that's like a 50% boost almost. <laughs> um, that's pretty good. And then I haven't even done the rare chemical plant upgrade. Up. Oh. What? I don't want to quick replace it with a different rotation. There we go. And then the last step would be... Oh, we're out of coal. Because we're out of sulfur. Because those inserters are too slow. Um... inserters, right? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that seems to work. What would I class as my favorite game? I think Factorio has to take that that cake. Um, I think it would be... It couldn't be any other game, so it's, it's really gotta be Factorio, but at the same time, I do, I do like a lot of other games a lot, too. Like, Kerbal Space Program is pretty high on the list. I think... Um, Wondering if what if I did carbon pre-stacked? Here's an idea. Um, carbon. Like this, and then the other two are handled by the other inserter. So this blacklists carbon. And that makes the rate not a problem. <laughs> Ooh, Outer Wilds. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of different categories of games. Outer Wilds certainly deserves some amount of credit for its... Like, in terms of a story game, I think it would win number one. But yeah, it, it is so different. Oh, but then I need to change this to 16.
Okay. All right. Well, um, how many railgun shells do we have on this belt? I wonder. Uh, five thousand railgun shells. That seems like enough for now. All right, let's do it. 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 Uh, save game. Save number 52. And we're going to say go to Aquilo. Go there first, then we'll set a speed limit. And then we'll save some things and see how it goes. But yeah, I mean, I think Factorio probably has to be my number one game of all time. Just largely based on hours played, lar also based on... Oh, I really want to see an attack. Um... But they attack kind of infrequently. <laughs> yeah, maybe story's the wrong word. Maybe experiential game is a better a better phrase for it, but like it's definitely the best. In whatever it is. <laughs> there's there's no game like it. It truly it's like number one on the list of games I wish that I could. So people are telling me I can do this. Wait. Well, I can't middle click that and then open the rubber port. But what I can maybe do is do this. Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, it, it really is incredible. If you haven't played Outer Wilds, go do it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It's one of those games that you would pay money to forget, so you could play it again without knowing anything. Alright, so a potential issue number- oh, I haven't even looked, like, are we- <laughs> I forgot we're facing off different kinds of asteroids now. We seem to be handling them with, with a plum, with a bomb. You say? Yes, with a bomb. With many bombs. Um, yeah, the asteroids are not posing any threat. But that will change when we start heading on this path. So when do the huges show up? It looks like, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like they start pretty early. Whoa, things do get pretty close here. I might need some walls or landmine. No, I'm not gonna use landmine. I don't like that strategy. Get ready for alert sounds. Yep. Yep. Things are certainly going to go wrong. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by... We're going to save it again. We're going to grab a blueprint of the whole shebang and save that in our Space Age folder in case and got our double wide trailer design I want to see a Gleba attack though I have yet to see these things work Yeah, apparently mines are a very good uh, strategy, actually.
the, the issue is they just get rebuilt automatically and like immediately. So that's what makes them really strong. Of course, you do need replacement uh, platform too, but. Mm -hmm. I guess what I could look at is the kill graph over time. It looks like we get attacked every... Well, on average, we've been attacked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times over an hour. So every 6 minutes or so. And we were attacked about 5 minutes ago, so we're due for an attack soonish. So if we watch here, we should see some red dots pop up on the map. Yeah, the stomper shells do do look like little turtles. They blend in so well, though. At first, I didn't even notice them when when we started getting attacked. <laughs> I am really tired of this blinking, though, so we're going to switch you to an uncommon. Hopefully we have. Stomper shells are renewable stone. <laughs> yes, technically correct. Uh, technically correct. God, imagine if that was your primary source of stone. Though, is there a way to uh, automatedly extract the stone from them? Like an automated deconstruction command? Uh-oh. I just realized we added five eggs to our network by doing that. That shouldn't be there. Um, oh, okay, you don't always get eggs. Yeah, I, I didn't. Apparently. <laughs> ah. Hey, attack, attack, here it comes. Did you bring a big, did you bring a cave troll? Or is this it? What are you doing? Also, is this considering its feet as enemies? Because there's a lot of little red dots here. <laughs> I think it's like counting its feet uh, on the mini map. I feel like it shouldn't, but what do I know? Um, also, what are these? I don't know what's going on right now. It's walking in circles. Is that like the rally point for an attack? I don't know what's going on. Is it a mating ritual? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. What are you doing? Now nah, it's just chilling. Now nah, it's moving again. I do know that the the lightning turret or the yeah, lightning turrets like arc between the feet. So it, it does make sense that the feet have to be like labeled as enemies for that to work. But it is funny that they make little dots on the mini map. Okay, now it's literally sitting there doing nothing. Oh. Here's a different one. This one's just coming straight in. And it's dead. Oh yeah, I get wrecked. Lightning turret. I don't know what this one is doing. This is so weird. They like spores. Maybe he's just getting high before going in. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. I guess what I didn't look at is what's the kill rate on stompers. Yeah, they're a bit more uncom- Wait, what? I killed one two minutes ago? I missed it? Oh, that's disappointing. Pretty sure we've been here pretty much the whole time for the last two minutes. I don't know. I don't know when that showed up. Um, huh. 
Huh. But yeah, the stompers don't show up all that often, it seems. So, I might not see one for a while. Well. Here we go. One more save. And we are going to add station. Pause, pause thrust real quick. Um, I'm going to limit thrusters to 50 for now. It'll start out going way faster, but that's just because it, it has to drain the, you know, the pipes before the limit kicks in. Okay, so let's see. Oh god, that's a huge asteroid. Our first railgun shot is about to occur. <gasps> yeah! Oh, that's sexy. Heck yeah. Okay, 50 is very slow. Maybe we go a little faster than 50 right now. Maybe we go 80. Because the huges are going to get worse as we go, so we it's really later that we're going to have to slow down. Ten kilometers of the way there. No, nothing to report. Boom! That's so cool. Here's another one. That one's gonna be a victim of railgun turret. The fourth. It needs the center or the edge? Just the edge. Okay. Nice. Yeah, the wind condition is uh, is getting to the solar system edge. So if this ship can handle all of the asteroids that get thrown at it, we will win here in some number of minutes. But it may not be capable, and we may have to do some design work. We are about to find out. I feel like we can go a little faster. Uh, bump this up to 120, at least for now. How's power? Are we doing okay on power? More than okay, okay. I, I was a little concerned about the railgun shots, and it still could be an issue if we're shooting too, too many. But for now, we're fine. Hey, the Lello! Welcome, welcome. Uh... Trad, I am at least going to bring artillery to Navis. I don't know how much more we're going to do past that. I need to do some figuring out. So if you guys have ideas for what I should do next, whether it's factorial wise or other games, please let me know in the Discord because I'm, I'm trying to figure out kind of how I'm going to do my series next. The meta channel questions. What I'm going to stream versus do straight to YouTube recording. What I'm going to do factorial wise get all the achievements i'm not an achievement hunter i have little interest in doing that so i probably will not boom boom i mean the 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 three tiered system seems to be working pretty well You know, the guns for the mediums, the missile turrets, the railguns. 
I do think if the railguns didn't have the bug where the firing rate isn't actually correct, I do think you could use railguns to handle everything. Especially because they have splash damage. Linear splash damage, you know, but like... Because they can hit so many in a line, if you have enough... Uh, railguns, you would just be able to kill everything in those straight lines. Okay, we're still doing okay. 30 kilometers in. Yeah, the achievements do make you play in a different way, but... I, like, I have nothing but respect for people that like to go achievement hunting. I just... I don't know how else to say it other than I have zero interest in getting them. Like, it doesn't sound fun to be forced to play that different way for whatever reason. And you could argue, like, well, that's kind of what mods do, and that's kind of what other things do, is they, like, force these different play styles. But for whatever reason, achievements rarely entice me to play uh, in a totally different way. Like, one of the achievements in this game, in Space Age, is to, you know, not kill a single biter nest before you research one of the other planetary sciences. And it's like, eh, that just doesn't sound fun to me. I have no interest in doing that. So, I mean, it's not exactly what mods do because mods tend to actually add new content, not just force you to play a different way. There are certain mods that in some essences are the same as achievements, but I would say they're fundamentally a little bit different. Because being forced to play in a different way isn't the same as adding a new gameplay challenge. It's, it's tweaking what you're already doing to be more challenging. But. Pi won't be out for a while? Uh, Pi is already out. I don't know what you mean. The new Pi mods won't be out for a while. That's true. But I just mean going back to... To Pi. Yeah, as far as creating challenge for myself, I tend to not enjoy the intrinsic challenges that much. That's why I get burnt out on games like Satisfactory or Minecraft faster than Factorio, with, which has big mod packs, because I prefer the, the intrinsic challenge of progressing through a tech tree. Or sorry, the, the extrinsic challenge of progressing through a tech tree to the intrinsic challenge of, oh, I just want to build more. I've never been a great intrinsic challenge enjoyer. And there's nothing wrong with people who are, it's just, it, it's a preference thing. Well, our weaponry seems to be holding pretty steady. I don't feel like we need to slow it down yet. We're, we're halfway there. I think I assume things are only going to get worse from here, yeah. Um, the huges are going to ramp up even more, but we seem to be okay so far. Um, I should, uh, yeah... Consumption. Okay, we're having a rocket issue, so we're gonna have to slow down here. Maybe even turn around. Let's go down to 10. Uh, so we're not making rockets fast enough. And... <laughs> the reason is we're just... Well, one of the reasons might be that this has zero modules in it. How's that for a reason? Um, so that will certainly affect things. Um, I can also make this a legendary beacon. Uh, so that helps a little bit. I might need a second assembler for this, despite all that. But, uh, the question is, if I'm making as many rockets as I need, am I getting enough, um, might as well put those in since I have them. Am I getting enough explosives would be the next question to provide the... That's using seven explosives a second. I think I am actually getting enough, because that would only require half, but now that puts us up to... From 
171 a minute to 436 a minute. That is a little bit better. Um, our consumption was getting up into the 400 range. So I guess we did need to slow down a bit. Let's, let's go back up now to 80. Yeah, that's, that's easily a change we can make. We can reshape this. Now that we have all this space down here, we can make more, you know, more than one assembler if we'd like. Heck, I can even just add another beacon real quick. Um, just to make it even faster. Yeah, you do kind of have to go taller rather than wide, because the wider you go, the more asteroids you run into. Though there is some sort of... Um, like, I think if you go wider, the the density isn't exactly the same, or is it? I don't actually know. I don't know if anyone's studied that extensively. Like, if you go twice as wide, do you actually get hit by exactly twice as many asteroids, or is it a little bit less than that? There's also the issue of, like, rocket turrets are shooting things that don't need to be shot, right? So, like, a really smart version would be having rocket turrets, would be having more rocket turrets that are just far enough in the, in the ship that, you know, as soon as something gets close enough that it might hit you, it gets absolutely blasted. Because right now I'm actually killing quite a few asteroids that don't need to be killed. Watch the real guns. Oh, that's so cool. Such a cool design. Seem to be doing okay. That's our production usage on rockets right now. 280 a minute, so we're okay then. What about railgun sh shots? Um. We can make up to 188 a minute of those, so that's not something I'm concerned about. Not yet, anyway. We're doing it! We're three-fourths of the way there! A damaged railgun? <gasps> a damaged railgun, you're right! I forgot repair packs. I'm guessing it was a, a, me, a medium. Yeah, I, uh, what are they crafted out of? They need circuits. There's wire and copper plates, or iron plates. Eh. Yeah, it was probably a medium. I think I don't have enough gun turrets. We do have replacement railguns, if one or two die, I think. Uh, do I? Uh-oh. I literally happen to have exactly zero. That's unfortunate. Um, we must have built exactly 20 or something. How did that happen? No, I built 16. How did I end up with not having extras then? Shouldn't it have sent 10 twice? Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's hope we don't lose too many. <laughs> but yeah, I think I actually needed a few more gun turrets at the end of the day, believe it or not. 
I certainly, I know, I, we talked about this before. I did go with this design intentionally. If I had left this flat on the front, we would have had a much more efficient design. Um, so this was kind of on purpose, and it's way harder to fit a lot of turrets and grabbers into the edge here. I guess I could have fit one more turret right here. Maybe I could have figured that out. That would have helped. Yeah the, yeah, the issue is how far they are inside. I probably needed to I just have such a small amount of space in the front. Getting ammo to everything was tricky. I honestly don't know if I needed this railgun. I probably could ditch this one. Uh, I think there's enough coverage between that one and its leftward cone and that one. I think we would have been fine. And then I could have put two or three more gun turrets over here. And that might have been good. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> yeah. Zap Brannigan. Indeed. This is cool. I like it. I do like how huge the asteroids are. They're absolutely massive. I mean, they're like... The same size as, you know, your space platform hub. Maybe bigger. They're not kidding around. I'm, I'm curious how much damage it does to your ship if one hits your ship. Like, does it, does it do splash damage? Does it just take out the front row of tiles? Like, I'm curious what it does. Guys, it's gonna happen. We're almost there. We're almost there! go faster and find out. <laughs> I don't think we're okay. That's our, our ammo. Rockets, we're keeping up. Railguns, we're keeping up. Regular bullets, we're keeping up. Actually, are we? Uh, regular bullets... We are maxing out, but we're not needing to stay maxed out, so I think we're just about equal. Bullets. You're right, the current schedule needs to not have Hawk Below plugged in. It's just very, very satisfying to watch. Yes, destroy them all. I think we probably could go a little bit faster. Not much, though. <laughs> there were. We're definitely pushing things towards the limit here. Woo! Congratulations! You've beaten the game by dispatching an interstellar space platform. You can continue playing this level as long as you like. This level. That's a weird, that's a weird phrasing. Um, Although you have won, there is still a lot to accomplish. Grow your factory, research infinite technologies, optimize your productions, unlock more achievements. Thanks for playing the Factorio team. Ah, just, just in under 100 hours. I wasn't really trying for that. Um, but there you go. We certainly could have taken a lot more than that if we had been uh, working on improving the factory more as we went. But wow, wow, wow. There's the credits. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we can upload. Ooh. Cydania. Comment. Art. Upload. Wow, we did it. Yes, this is our first our first win. And a 
it's taking a minute to upload. Apparently. Oh, probably. Well, no. No, not because I'm streaming. I should have plenty more bandwidth. Maybe it's just because the save files are actually big. <laughs> um. So that means you guys can go check out my little star in the Galaxy of Fame now. Did I get the under 100 hour achievement? Uh, yes. Sulfur 4 IOTA 6 6.C 4Z2. There you go. So now we're at the solar system edge. And if we want to, we can then try to go to the Shattered Planet. Let's see what happens there. So we should see Promethium rocks on this trip. Those start showing up, I guess they start showing up immediately, but they really ramp up at 1.2 million meters? Oh my. You gotta go pretty far out there. And then those Promethium chunks, you then have to mix with biter eggs. So you gotta get out here pretty quick. To, to start getting those. Cool. The achievement, what are, what are the achievements you guys are talking about? Look, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't know how else to explain it. I don't really care about achievements. <laughs> I, I know I'm in the minority, like a lot of people think a lot about achievements. I just really don't care. Um, so there are a few, like 40 hours. We can't get any more. Uh huh. Brush to space, keeping your hands clean. Those ones are ones where it's just like, that doesn't sound that fun to me. But uh, there are still some we can do. Big demolisher, eat a legendary fish, legendary mech equipment, 100 combat robots using atomic bomb, Promethium science packs, travel 60 kilometers towards the shattered planet. Aha. Oh, oh, that's... Okay. 10,000 kilometers. Uh, construct more machines using robots than manually. Wait, wait, look at the... Look at how close we are. Oh, that one we gotta finish. That's so close. Look at that. We're so close to 50-50. Um, ooh, there's some Promethean. So... The question I guess I have to figure out now, does Promethium spoil or do, is it cool? Is it just chilling? I think it's just chilling. Yeah. So basically you go and you collect a bunch of Promethium and I've seen people that I think this is the reason people do the like this sort of thing and then they do this sort of thing. And then you end up making this contraption, you know, that like stores an absurd amount of items. Because then once you've done all that, then you can like have the belts here and then, you know, keep going this way. And, and then you can belt weave with other colors. So that's how you can like store a crap load of Promethium chunks. And then you take it back to where your biter eggs are. And, uh,. And you're good to go. Yeah, I mean, we're going really slow right now, so let's speed up a bit. Let's go to 60. Turn this thing up to 60! Did I get the under 100? Uh, wait, did we already answer that? I mean, I did win under 100 hours, so it'd be weird if I didn't get the achievement for it. Yeah, finish the game within 100 hours.
Danger, Will Robinson. Yeah, this is certainly, uh... Do these have more health? Than the others of the same type? They do. Uh -huh. They're doubled. Same resistance as them. Um, so a red asteroid is like two of the normals. Still gets one shot though by these. 26,000 damage, yeah. Although, wait, what's the resistance? Physical 3,000, so that goes down to 23,000, so it goes down to like 20,000, so yeah, that's fine. Wait, 10,000? I swear that was a different number a minute ago. Are these numbers changing on me? Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. What would be interesting is if they got to higher rarities as you got further away. Oh, that's so satisfying when it gets two of the huges in one railgun shot. Sweet! Alright, wow, we did it! Victory! Victory! <sighs> Space Age has been awesome. It really has. I, uh, I'm, I am planning on, like, a retrospective video, um, that'll be a little bit more scripted because I need to get my, get my thoughts together on the experience. I have a lot of them. Almost, almost all positive. Like, I know that, that I can sound really negative sometimes, and that's a different issue, uh, more just, like, how I portray things, um, because I can really be enjoying something. And then there's a little part in my brain that goes, oh, I would, it could be even more enjoyable if XYZ was slightly different, right? And so then it sounds like I'm focusing on a negative, but it certainly doesn't mean that I have a negative thought overall about a thing. Um, that's more of a communication thing. And like, also it's just one of my strengths is like making things the best they can be. Um, now, not to say that my ideas are always the right ideas, but I do like to make things the best they can be. So if something is 99% of the way to being perfect, I really like to, to think about that 1% gap that's still there. Um, it's just, you know, the way that I can portray things sometimes can sound negative, but man, I have loved Space Age. It's been really fun. I'm really excited to see what mods do. I think there were still parts of this that after after the extensive number of hours I've played mods, there were parts of Space Age that still felt like, oh, that's really simple and it's fun, but I think I'm excited to like have a more complex version of that. Like Aquilo, I think is a good example um, of that, where like Aquilo was really cool and it only took me like three or four hours to, to do everything. Or maybe it was more like six or seven, I don't remember. But it, it felt really fast. Now, to be fair, this is the default factorial game designed for everybody, right? And so you don't want to design the game in a way that you've already worked really, really hard to get to Aquilo, and then it's even harder than everything else you've already done, and then a ton of people are going to quit on Aquilo before they beat the game. And so it's kind of like you don't want to ramp the difficulty up even more at that point. You want to make sure that if it is more difficult, it's only a little bit more difficult so that it doesn't just have this weird difficulty spike. So like, I think it's I think it's uh, designed really well. I think for my preference, I'd like it to have been a little harder because I was ready for something a little harder. But I do think, you know, after playing things like Pyanodons, I'm a little jaded and I'm probably not the average Factorio player at this point uh, in terms of my preferences. So I will I will completely own that that's a me problem, not a game problem. Uh, I think Aquila was actually probably the right amount of difficult, given what I've seen other commenters say online. It, it does seem like a lot of people are running into like, this is harder, ah, I don't know what to do, but it's like still doable. And it feels like they actually found that balance pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to call myself an expert because I also know how much I'm not an expert in things. Like, <laughs> I do feel like I'm still a noob in many ways in Factorio, but given how many hours I've played and the mods I've played, yeah, I, I probably do qualify as an expert of some sort. Um, I'm not an expert in mega basing, though, right? They're, they're, 
I'm not an expert in train uh, interrupts. I've done basically zero with train interrupts. Uh, so there's so much to Space Age I haven't even touched yet. Which is another interesting point about Space Age. I was saying this back in the FFF review. There are so many ways to play now and different ways to accomplish similar goals that there will be more differences between... Uh, uh, what's the best way to form this sentence? The variance between players who have reached the victory screen is higher, much higher, for Space Age than it was for, you know, Vanilla Factorio, previous non-Space Age Factorio. And that is a really cool thing. It does come with some... I don't even know if negative side effects is the right word. It's more just like interesting side effects of like now people are going to be talking about the game in Discord or on Reddit and they're going to be like, wait, what? Like I had a completely different experience than you, you know, because some people are building these train based interrupt systems on Nowvis and other people are doing what I did. I barely even used trains, you know, and we both beat the game, had a completely different experience doing it. You know, some people did Gleba completely differently. Some people did Vulcanus completely differently. Um, so there's just way more places where you can differ from somebody else's uh, play style than there were before. I actually think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. Um, I probably should keep an eye on this thing because the further it gets, the more it's getting a little hairy. Let me, let me check on ammo production before I keep talking. Uh, we're maxed out on firearm magazines, so that could be problematic. The other ones are still good. Um, oh, the issue is this inserter can't keep up. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is the fastest recipe I think I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. I mean, I've seen faster with fobs. You know, you can get recipes down to one tick, but that's pretty crazy. Um, so that should get our firearm production going a little better here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save it again, and just for fun, let's bump up the speed to max and see what happens. Unrestricted speed. Turn off the limiters. Um, yeah, t so TNT, that's uh, an interesting question. Do I feel like the new machines were too strong? Um, I don't feel like the new machines were too strong, as in like the, the foundry or the EMP. I actually feel like the bio chamber is too weak. I've talked about this like five times now, so I won't harp on it. I just think it needs to be able to run without requiring a spoilable input that requires spoilables to make. I think that was just too much of a making it kind of a pain to use. Um, that being said, I don't think this is really fun to watch. <laughs> oh, the huge asteroids. Oh my gosh, they just keep going. Oh, do they ever stop? Oh no, they just keep going. That's this is literally like delete in a row. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um that's fun. Alright, well we can handle 60, but we can't handle 300 or whatever speed we were going there. Um so so my thought is actually more about the quality mechanic. I think the quality mechanic is too strong. I do think I do think it's kind of absurd what you can do now. You can get to the Bob's modules levels of insanity with, with legendary beacons and modules and buildings. It's like you can make an entire belt of stacked green chips from one electromagnetic plant. That feels a bit much to me. I, I'm not sure if I like that. Um, it, 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 there's a there's an elegance to to needing a bigger base that gets lost once you have legendary quality because it's then the the question becomes far more not how do I produce you know four green belts of circuits but it's 
literally how do I move those like between the inserters and the trains and the bots it, it actually has turned logistics into a bigger part of the equation rather than the production and the building of assemblies assembling machines of various forms so they they've kind of with quality now it's become way way easier to get the amount of assemblage that you need and it's therefore become harder to get the amount of logistics you need um so it is it, it's different whether or not that's a good change or bad change probably depends on the individual player and what they prefer doing with their time but right now it's far easier to get the assembling the total amount of assembling speed and productivity that you want is much easier than before and now it's much more about how do you get those items to where they're going at that rate that becomes much more of the question um and on top of that like not having better bots feels weird in terms of cargo space i know you can upgrade their speed and the higher quality gives them more battery but Kind of like we got belt item stacking we didn't get like a second type of logistics bot so that felt a little odd to me um because it feels like now you just have even more of them swarming around everywhere and just absolutely murdering your ups and your frame rate if you're well the bit rate if you're a streamer i should say not the frame rate frame rate's fine um so yeah there's a few little weirdnesses like that where i'm like i think having another bot upgrade having cargo um, what's the word? Cargo... Tri cargo wagons. That's what I'm looking for. Cargo wagons having more space. Uh, could have been nice. Am I seeing the thing you mentioned with asteroid priority? No, I actually have no idea what you're talking about, Turtle. Please, please elaborate now that we've successfully gone. Yes, the quality roboports giving faster charging is a big deal. I do agree with that. Because it actually, yeah, it just allows bots to be more efficient overall. I'm wanting to get the 60,000 kilometer. That's why we're, we're why. Also, this is just really fun to watch. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the the fireworks here. I am just enjoying the fireworks. Need to take a screenshot with some huge asteroids in it. Um, if Roboports didn't get better at charging, it would be a bad time. Yes, I agree. The the issue though is still that you only have one way. Like the charging time does add up eventually, especially as you upgrade their speed more and more, they're depleting their batteries faster and faster. So quality was a big help to reduce that problem. But the issue is still that bots can only carry four items. Uh, I do think it would have been nice to have one upgrade somewhere. Um, either a second type of logistics bot that can carry more by default and maybe it carries just twice as much at each upgrade or or they add some extra upgrades into the end game like after cryogenic science maybe like one more you know just a few little upgrades i think could have been nice along with also having cargo wagons be able to hold more um those not being able to hold more feels a little odd to me because then again you're requiring the player to then just deal with having way more trains rather than being able to use more effective trains you just have to have way more trains and faster trains um whereas like belt stacking was done to prevent you needing just way more belts they didn't do that same idea with trains or bots it feels like or longer trains yes yes true the priority on weapons pick targets based on priority left to right oh interesting Meaning the leftmost asteroid might get really close. Wouldn't it mean the right asteroids get closer? Or are you saying they target things on the right first? 
I'm guessing you'd notice that more if you had more of like a flat wall and, and you were going a little faster so the density was higher. Yes, and, and uh, Nolopt, I do agree that like trains are way smarter now, interrupts are awesome, and we also have um, better combinators, and so it's way easier to control trains to, to do smart things only, which obviously helps a ton. That is still different, though, than increasing the size of cargo wagons. But, all right, well, uh, so let's talk about what's next. What's next in this playthrough is probably just turning around and taking some Prometheum back to uh let's collect a little bit more first though how do I do that uh let's do left Prometheum chunk put that there uh no Ah! I'm trying to go left. Um, after priority left. And then we can do some amount of storage here. Just a little bit, just for fun. I broke the belt reading. Ah, damn it. Um. Okay. We forget that idea then, and instead we have a bunch of filter inserters. that I know this isn't the most efficient but it'll be a good a good few hundred or thousand or whatever. I don't know. Um, it'll work. Yeah, the stack size is only one, unfortunately. For for this, I did I did take that into consideration. So it's interesting that this still ha actually wait no this has gotten hit one more time by something small, I think. So that must be the left to right. Oh, there's another one that just hit it. That's funny, we were just talking about that. Uh, well, we're probably getting into the denser part of the field and we should probably turn around. Go the other direction. Wait, why did that just change to some absurd number? that 3.9 million kilometers and why is it going up oh that's the distance it, I get it never mind I get it yeah 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 it's 4 million from here to here and we're already done with most of that that was really confusing for a second <laughs> yeah I get I get I get it, I get it. Um, no, I think this is doing it properly. That that should be putting it on that side, right? Or do I have that wrong? No, I think it just put it on the right side. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, as far as I remember, the, the inserter is put on the right side of the belt uh, from their own perspective if they're in line with the belt. I could lower the buffer of the other ones to grab more science-y chunks. Yeah. 
I could do a lot of things. I could do a lot of things, but instead I'm not. I'm just going to do this. Hooray! More! What I really should do is something like this. We actually get both sides. Oh, cool. Alright, I don't love... a little bit if I put a, a shield of platform in front of it. Took up a few damage at least. Where can I fit another gun turret without much issue? I put one right here. And do that. I also realized we didn't have some of these other gun turrets filtered. The, second, the two that we added... Ah, that's been a problem. I wonder how many bullets we've wasted because of that. Those two weren't uh, asteroid filtered. Anyway, okay, so this video is almost two hours now for the recording. I probably should have made it two, but it, it was the victory episode, so make it a little extra long, but... As far as what's next, uh, we're not quite done with this series. We are going to have, like I said, we want to take artillery to Navis and do some biter fighting just for fun. Um, and then kind of along that process, we'll continue figuring out what I'm going to do next. But I don't think we're going to go super further into this playthrough and like revamp all the planets or do everything legendary. Um, I don't think we're doing that in this playthrough. That certainly could happen in, in a future playthrough, though. But I think for this one, we're pretty close to being done. So I'll just say that. And for those of you from future YouTube, uh, as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next episode.